welcome guys so this is an easy set of data interpretation core data interpretation uh, let's see how to solve this fast okay in the first bar graph below title graph 1 uh, each bar represents the employees in companies and provides the breakup of the number of employees from each country in that company okay so we can easily see this that in graph 1 uh, we have four different con uh, countries and for six different companies the breakup of number of employees according to country is given but we do not know that each of this bar graph belongs to which company so there are six companies let's uh, read it further however label of the companies have been omitted in the graph so label of the company is omitted we do not know which co company it is so this would be a different company this would be a different company this would be a different company and so on okay fine now let's read further in a second graph below title graph 2 uh, each bar represents employees from a country and provides the breakup of number of employees in each company from that country so each of these bar graphs belongs to a particular country so we do not know which country this bar graph belongs which particular country this bar bo belongs and this bar and this bar also you can see that there are four companies and according uh, four countries and we have four bar graphs for the countries and further in each of the bar graphs we have different companies right we have different companies now how can we relate these two uh, graphs now if we sum this up let's suppose if we are summing india if we are summing india in all of these companies in all of these six companies uh, this is 50 this is 150 that makes it to 200 this is again 150 that is 350 4 400 450 and again 150 so that makes it to 600 so india will have altogether or total number of employees from india will be altogether 600 so now as this graph to each of the bar graph gives num gives uh, countries so india can either be this bar graph or it can be either this bar graph so two possibility for India so it can be either this bar graph India can belong to this bar graph or this bar graph now how to remove the possibilities so first thing that we need to focus is on visual observation now visual observation can completely ease our concept now what happens if I look into this graph one I can see that Mexico which is gray color is having or if we sum each of the region of Mexico from each of the companies we will get the maximum number of people are from Mexico right and also in this bar graph the maximum is for this that is 800 let's try to cross check it 200 to 400 that is 200 people over here 200 that makes it to 400 again 100 that makes it to 500 this is 600 and this is 150 750 and 50 that makes it to 800 so from mexico we have all together 800 and there is just one country which can have 800 and that is for sure that it would be mexico right that is for sure that it would be mexico now similarly we can see that this graph this bar graph is also unique right and this would be either for any of these remaining three companies and I can also see with the observation that yellow would be the another highest or the second highest one let's try to sum this up this is 100 this is 200 that makes it to 300 this is 350 and again this is 200 550 100 650 and then again 100 that makes it to 750 and this is exactly 750 and this yellow is Germany so this is for Germany and these two could be either India or US or US or India uh, uh, we need to cross check that even let's see for US US it is 100 to 200 that makes it or 150 this is 150 150 and again 150 300 okay and this is 50 350 350 plus again 150 so that makes it to 500 and 50 50 that makes it to 600 so india us it can either be any one of them and let's not cross check it further now how to uh, relate 
which company each of this bar graph belongs to now we can use the data we are very sure that this graph is for mexico and this graph is for germany now how to do that now if we observe this graph or we just see this graph so we can see that from mexico let's start with you from mexico we have 100 people in company u mexico company u they are just 100 people now let's trace this back in this graph now in this graph in which company or in which graphs we have 100 people for mexico we have just two graphs in which there are 100 people for mexico right this graph and this graph so either of them so you can either be this or this now let's try to avoid the possibilities and try to find the unique value now just observing this bar graph i can see this blue dark blue is highest if i sum this dark blue i'll get the highest and that would belong to t right now let's sum this up this will make it to 150 this is again 200 so that makes it to 350 and 200 that makes it to 550 and this is again 150 so that makes it to 700 now 700 is a unique value so this makes it very clear that this belongs to t this belongs to t now let's uh, uh, go further and do a little hit and trial and see what we can do so let's take this yellow region yellow region belong to s okay so what we can see that or say that from uh, mexico s how many employees are there they are all together uh, 300 to 500 200 employees so in which company we have in which company we have mexico as 200 employees so we have two companies that is this company and this company this company is already taken by t so this would be the company so this is definitely s yes. that is for sure fine let's read this uh, or observe this graph further and we can see that this is 50 over here so mexico this gray is for r and 50 so in which company we have just 50 uh, people from mexico and this is just this company right so this is definitely r now let's uh, do this for this uh, for this that is p so p mexico p and just 100 is remaining so it can either be okay p and u so we need to find unique value let's check it can we use germany region and this p to find a unique value in germany let's write it like this in germany we have 200 people and this 200 people belongs to p now let's track this into this uh, graph so in which graph we have 200 people from germany okay 200 people from germany and out of these two remaining this is the one and this would be p so what is remaining is you now we can answer the question or what is remaining is india and us let's uh, not solve everything if we can solve partially and uh, solve all the question that is sufficient let's see this how many employees in p are from mexico we can easily answer p mexico 100 employees what percentage of employees q are from usa so q usa uh, this is nothing but <clears throat> 50 upon 350 50 upon 350 is nothing but 1 by 7 and 1 by 7 is 14.28 or 29 percent in which of the following companies the number of employees from india as a percentage of total employees uh, in the company highest now let's not solve this we can see that india maximum number of people from india is 150 and this would be the region 150 upon 350 or this would be r or u now we can just say that we have u in the option so u would be the correct answer question in which of the following companies the number of employees from germany less than that of usa so germany which is yellow and usa is orange so we can see that it is just in company s so answer to this question is s that set uh, we, we have solved all the questions and it was an easy set hope you have understood it thank you